Next, we're gonna look at the middle of the body. Let's try and warm this up. There's a lot of work that goes on in here around your ski day. So try and pull the shoulders around. Rotations, keeping your hips still. Make nice big circles. Try it in each direction, around the body, warming up that middle part of the body, lower back and your stomach. Always good to keep the upper body warmed up. You're going to be pole planting all day. Just thinking about nice movements of the, the arm rotating inside the shoulder, shoulder socket. Forward movements are good as well. That attacks a slightly different part of the muscle group. And you can also work with this with two arms. If you've got problems with your shoulders or ever had any issues, don't go too far, be very gentle with it. So I know during the day, the middle of my body is going to get a lot of uh, pressure coming on it. Try and warm up my core a little bit. It's a bit of pelvic tilt. Pulling my legs up here and just lower and raise your pelvis. You can feel it driving into the snow. You can feel it lifting off the snow. All the time the core is activated. Just a nice way to get the blood flowing and get the muscles in that area warmed up. Something else we can use to warm up is a slight raise of the hips. Very slow, very progressive, always engaging your core as you're doing it. You can keep it very minimal or you can take it further and raise it much higher. For those of you that do yoga, you could probably raise it with one leg in the air, exercising it further still. Just to warm up your lower back, side to side with your knees can be quite nice. If you feel a slight stretch, but we're focusing mainly on activity, trying to create a warm up of the muscles. If you've got a good core and no problems with your back, you can sometimes pull your feet off the ground and raise and roll side to side, using the muscles and the stability in your core to control the movement. What we don't want to see is people slamming side to side. We want to see slow, progressive movements, engaging the core, using the muscles. These warm-up exercises are a brief overview, but if you're running through this properly, it would take you between 10 and 15 minutes.